I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test paper of my student IB grade 10 coordinate geometry. The question here is verify that the center of the circle x square plus y square equals to 20 lies on the right bisector of the chord from A to B where A is minus 4 2 and B is 2 4. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now in this particular question, let us first sketch and see what we are trying to do here. So that's kind of a coordinate plane for us. And let's draw the circle. x square plus y square equals 20 means the center is, the origin is the center for the circle. And the radius is square root of 20, right? So the radius is square root of 20 minus on this side and plus on the other side. So let's say these are square root 20 was just slightly more than 5 but less than I mean slightly more than 4 but less than 5 right so it is between 4 and 5 so we can just connect these points and form a circle so we have a circle here okay kind of hurried it anyway and we are given chord chord means connecting two points on the circle a is minus 4 2 so let us say this is 4 and this is 2 and then we have 2 and 4 so 2 and then 4 maybe this point so let's connect them so that's the chord a b right so the chord a is minus 4 and 2 for a and for b we have 2 and 4 so these are the two points now we need to verify that the center of the circle lies on the right bisector of the chord. So to do that, what should we do? Right bisector of the chord really means we have to find the midpoint, right? Once we find the midpoint, then the right bisector will go like this and we have to verify that it indeed goes through the origin. That is what the question is, correct? So let's do one by one all the steps. First thing is, there is no harm to verify that points A and B lie on the circle, right? So first thing, check whether the points lie on circle or not, right? Lie on the circle. So let's check for A. Now A is minus 4, 2. So if you substitute minus 4 for X, what do you get? Minus 4 square plus 2 for Y, 2 square. What do you get? You get 16 plus 4, which is indeed 20, correct? So it is perfectly fine and B also is 2 and 4 the other way, right? So 2 square plus 4 square which is also 4 plus 16 equals to 20. So the points are indeed on the circle. Now let's find the midpoint. Let me call that point as M, okay? So let's find the midpoint M on the chord. The chord is AB. So let me call it MAB. It's a good nomenclature. Midpoint means average of x and y values. So the x values are 2 plus minus 4 divided by 2 and the y values is 4 and 2. So it is 4 plus 2 divided by 2, right? So that is the midpoint. That gives us minus 2 divided by 1, which is minus 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the midpoint for us is minus 1, 3. To find right bisector, we need to find slope of AB and then take negative reciprocal, right? So let's find slope M of AB, which is Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So 4 minus 2 divided by 2 minus 4, minus 4 indeed. So yeah, 2 over 6, which is 1 over 3. So that is the slope of MB. Now, what is going to be the slope of the right bisector? Negative reciprocal, so it means negative 3, right? So we know the slope of the right bisector, let me call it as line R, as the right bisector, has a slope of minus 3, and it goes through the midpoint, which we just found is minus 1 and 3, right? Knowing this, we can find equation of the right bisector okay so let's find equation of right bisector so for that we are going to use the slope and a point 
So we can use equation y equals to mx plus p, right? So y is 3, x is minus 1, slope is minus 3. Let's substitute the values. 3, slope of minus 3, x is minus 1, plus b. And that gives us uh, b value is 3 minus 3, which is indeed 0, correct? So we get b as 0. And therefore, we can write down the equation now, right? So the equation is, we know b equals to 0, and we know slope equals to minus 3. So that gives us the equation of right bisector. So the line LR, which is the right bisector, is y equals to minus 3x, correct? So minus 3x is the line. We need to check whether origin, which is the center of this, is on the line or not, right? So, so we need to check origin, which is the center of the circle, right? In this case, 0, 0, whether it lies on this line or not. So if I substitute x equals to 0, what is the value of y? y equals to minus 3 times 0, which is also 0. Therefore, the point 0, 0 lies on the right bisector, is it okay? So always you'll find that the right bisector of any chord in a circle will pass through the origin, right? So that is how you can prove in this particular case. So I'd like you to follow all these steps when doing such a question. This is not necessary, but it's kind of important for you to understand to verify that the points are indeed on the circle. Well, by definition, they should be, since we are saying it's a chord. Then, find slope, find the midpoint. Then you find slope of AB. Then you know right bisector. Their perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slope. You know the midpoint. Find the equation of the line. Verify whether 0, 0 lies on this line or not. Correct? So that helps. These steps helps to solve such questions. I hope you understand it. Thank you and all the best.